What's up, Pokey Sluts? My name is Another Soviet. Please leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoy these battles. Today I have a couple UU battles for you guys with my um, Ubi team. It's uh, pretty fun. And by Ubi, I mean like the Ubi from the show, as you can see. Ubi is what I named my Hydreigon. And if you're not from America, then you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. In fact, probably a lot of people in America don't even know what Ubi is. But... Anyways, um, I'm probably gonna end up leading off with my Arcanine or my Brock Lesnar here. Um, my Azelf is, well, I could lead with my Azelf. I'm gonna do that because I'm expecting a Tentacruel, but he actually goes into Aerodactyl. So I should be able to get Stealth Rocks up here and then just U-turn out. I don't really want to stay in against Aerodactyl because this Dalai Lama is specially defensive. So, I am just going to get up my rocks and then hard switch out here. And probably just go into my Beethoven or my Heliolisk. But I'm going to give my Heliolisk a go. And he does resist the Aerial Ace, so that is why I decided to go with that. Um, I am expecting him to bring out the crocodile on a volt switch, but he actually ends up going out chestnut, so I'm glad I went for the T-bolt anyway. Um, so now I'm just going to be free to bring in my Arcanine, or I could go into my Azelf here, because my Azelf is pretty low. But I think my Arcanine is a better switch because he does have the Intimidate and Rocky Helmet. And Chestnut is a physical attacker. As far as I know, he usually is anyway. But we should be able to get a free Toxic up here on whatever he wants to switch out into. He's not going to stay in, I know that. And actually he does decide to stay in and go for the Spiky Shield. So I guess I didn't expect him to have the Spiky Shield for some reason. But I'm just going to hit him up with a Flare Blitz now in case he did decide to stay in. But he's going to bring in his Tentacruel here, so it's not a big dealio. And I will be able to bring out my Heliolisk um, or my Azelf. I'm going to bring out my Azelf and try and get a Psychic off here. And he's going to Rapid Spin. That's fine with me. I don't have any Spin Blockers, unfortunately. But... I will be able to get up rocks here, and he's going to switch out anyway, I'm sure. I doubt he'll stay in, but if he does, then I'll be able to get a Psychic off. And he actually ends up staying in well. Um, and he's going to go for the Scald. Luckily, he doesn't get a burn there. So, I am just going to Psychic. Um, and hope he doesn't bring out the High Dragon, which of course he does. Um... It's not a huge deal. My but my Azelf my Azelf actually has no um speed investment, so I'm not gonna be able to beat him. And he's just gonna do U turn for some reason. U turn is pretty weird to have on High Dragon. Um I didn't really think that was a common thing. I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe you guys can tell me whether or not you run that in the comments down below, but I know I don't, and I've never seen anyone besides this guy run a U-turn on the High Dragon. Uh, it kind of makes sense for hitting Psychic types, but why would a Psychic type want to stay in? Or other Dark types, I guess. But, anyways, I am just going to go for a knockoff because I doubt he's going to stay in. I mean, I could go for the Nuke Close Combat, but... I don't know. I don't think he's going to stay in. But... Fuck it. I might as well go for it. And he actually does decide to stay in, so this is going to be an O-Code Crocodile. With the Stealth Rock damage, of course. But I don't I don't think it mattered. But we'll see. Um, with the Spadef Drop, I definitely don't want to stay in. If I didn't have the Spadef Drop, I probably would stay in to get a knockoff on this thing. Um... But, yeah, this is Assault Vest Brock Lesnar, or Assault Vest, um, 
<laughs> my champ, if you will. And um, now I should I should have a pretty free switch into Aerodactyl here. But he actually ends up connecting with the Focus Blast. So that's not good. It hits um, Aerodactyl for neutral, I believe. And yeah, my Puff, Puff the Magic Dragon was sent to the pits there. But I will be able to bring in my Ubi here, my High Dragon, and get a Dragon Pulse off. I don't know if I want to go for a Dark Pulse or not, though. Or I could get a Draco. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I sincerely doubt he's going to stay in. Um, he could try and Focus Blast again, but I wouldn't bet on that landing. And I definitely wouldn't bet an Alakazam. I mean, it could be Focus Sashed, but... We'll see. I think I'm just... Yeah, I'll just stick with Draco Meteor. It should hit everything really well. It's And we're going to drop a nuke on this Tentacruel. KO, bitch. And he's sent to the pits of Hades. And now that we have the special attack drop, we're definitely going to want to switch out here. I'm sure he's going to go for the Focus Blast. So, my Machamp, maybe a good choice, but I'm just going to go into my Arcanine because I don't really want to lose my, my Machamp just yet, because I'm going to need it to deal with High Dragon. And um, I believe he does have the Ice Punch, so I could deal with the um, Chestnut decently, and I just went for an E-Speed there. Because I wanted to break this thing sash, which I'm sure it had. So I'm just going to go for another E-Speed. Um, if this was Banded Arcanine, that would have taken him out. But I, this is the physical defense Arcanine, or Beethoven's fifth, if you will. So I definitely didn't want to go with it there. I mean, I, I definitely don't want the choice band on him if I'm going to be running him as a defensive wall. And now we should be able to get Rocky Helmet Rough Skin or Rocky Helmet damage off. Sorry, he doesn't have Rough Skin on this Aerodactyl, so I'm okay with that. Now my Heliolisk can come in and Volt Switch. He doesn't have his um he doesn't have his Crocodile up, so I I'm definitely just gonna bring out my Heliolisk and try and Volt Switch and maybe live an Aerial Ace, but I do not think I can. I I really don't think I can. I actually I know I can't. So I guess we'll just sack him off now. Um there's not really much I can do to deal with this Aerodactyl to be honest. Besides maybe my high dragon, but I actually do end up being faster, which is weird. I don't know why all of a sudden my Heliolisk at three seventeen speed is faster than uh, Mega Aerodactyl. That's pretty weird, but no complaints here. I got the T-Bolt off and took care of the Aerodactyl. So now I think I, I'm just going to stay in because switching out would be pretty stupid with spikes and rocks up. So I just have to stay in and T-Bolt now. And then I'm definitely going to bring out my Machamp on this Chestnut. And... I want to go for a knockoff, but I don't know if that's a good idea. So I'm just going to go for an Ice Punch, which should hit this thing pretty well. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it'll kill. No, it won't kill, but it does do 33. And unfortunately, he gets Leech Seed up, and he has lefties. So he will be able to live another one. Um, I'm just going to hit him with a close combat, because I think that may do more, and it does actually do uh, a little bit more. It does a 6% more? A 5% uh, more, rather. So, now it's basically up to my high dragon, and he is choice spec, so I'm just going to click Dragon Pulse, and hopefully I can take out... Um, the Alakazam, I will be able to take it out, but the issue is whether or not he hits his Focus Blast or not. Um, and he actually misses there. 
So, I have to hope this isn't Choice Scarfed High Dragon, because if it is, then I'm pretty much doomed. Um, otherwise, I could be doomed anyway, and yeah, he's going to go down there. So, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys on over to the next match now. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed that first one. What's up, Pokey Sluts? Welcome to my second battle here in this video. I hope you guys enjoy this one as well. And it's looking like my Brock Lesnar, my Machamp here, is going to be a really awesome lead. So we'll see what he leads with. I was kind of expecting the Trevenant or this thing, and that's certainly what I got. So I'm just going to knock off first, I think. Um... And maybe expect the Umbreon, or the Empoleon to, wow, excuse me, expect the Espeon to come in. But I do get a nice knockoff on the Trevenant, and that drops him to 12. The video got a little laggy there, sorry about that, guys. As you can see, I need a new PC badly, so the more thumbs up and ratings and comments I get, the closer I get to getting that. So, all your support is needed and loved and wonderful. Anyways... I will be able to take down the Trevenant there with the bullet punch to get it out of the way nice and fast. Um, this thing isn't really going to do anything to me. I don't really know why he switched him in, but I am just going to bring out Arcanine anyway because uh, Machamp is one of my special defense, or one of my special uh, tanks, kind of. He does have the AV, as I've said before, so I'm going to go for a... Toxic, but he's probably going to bring in the Empoleon, and he actually ends up going into High Dragon, so I'm glad I got the Toxic off on this thing. This is a tiny bit of a threat to my team, but my Machamp can definitely handle him really well. So I'm not too worried. Um, I would like to switch out here, but I'm just going to go for a Flare Blitz. He actually has the Earth Power. Um, so it was kind of really dumb to go for the Flare Blitz. I don't know why I tried to stay in. I'm just going to bring out my Machamp now and try and keep my Arcanine around for now because I may need him for the, I probably will need him for the Rocky Helmet damage on Beedrill and stuff. And this close combat is going to be a dead eye dragon, so he will be sent down to the pits. Of Hades. And now he's going to bring out Espeon. So... <sighs> with, this, with the Spadef drop, I don't really want to stay in on this thing. Um, so I think I may sack Arcanine here. Or I could potentially hard switch into Hydreigon. Or bring out my Azelf. I think I want to bring out my Azelf and set up, set up Stealth Rocks. Blah, set up. And he's going to end up being Reflect Light Screen. So going for the rocks here was really dumb. I really messed up there. I was, to be honest, I was a little uh, high, if you know what I mean. And he's going to end up going for the yawn. So I'm really glad I U-turned out of there because fuck that yawning shit. And my High Dragon should be pretty safe here. I would like to defog, but it's only going to drop him down to 88. So it's not that big of a deal. And a nice Draco here would do a lot to his whole team. So I'm going to drop a Draco. Let's see what it does to this Empoleon. He actually takes that pretty well. And by pretty well, I mean that does like absolutely nothing to him. So, I may bring in the Heliolisk here. Um, I would like to keep my Machamp around. Uh, I definitely would like to keep my Machamp around. So, I think I want to go into my Heliolisk here. And just T-Bolt. Um, <laughs> and this is the dry scan Heliolisk, as you can see. So, I'm glad I did switch in there. I got all my damage back from the stealth rock, so <laughs> thank you. 
And now he brings out my Puff the Magic Dragon. So I will be able to Mega Evolve here and defog those rocks that I induced on myself. But, yeah, I'm going to defog because I can't really hit this Empoleon very well anyway. And we're going to just get rid of his fucking screens. And we're going to be able to set up Stealth Rocks now that he roared us out into the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama Mama Gemma. And I'm just going to go for a Psychic to see how much it does. And it does fuck all. So now he's danced around with Roar a little bit too much here. And he brought out my Brock Lesnar, my Machamp, so a close combat will be the death of him. And Empoleon is going to the pit of Hades. And unfortunately, I do have the Spadef drop again, so the, um... Damn it, why do I keep forgetting? The Espeon there is going to be a bit of a problem. Um, Machamp takes very minimal Stealth Rock damage. So, I think I want to switch him out. Uh, s yeah, I'm going to switch him out into Aerodactyl here. And he's going to end up going for a drill run, so that works out really nicely for us. We're just going to roost here. We sh I should be faster. So, I'm just going to... Ah, I'm going to defog again. Fuck it. Might as well. <laughs> and he bounces that, obviously, with magic bounce. So... Whatever. The evasiveness is not a big deal. I'm gonna roost here. I am should be faster. I, I'm definitely gonna be faster than the Espeon. So, I will be able to get a roost off here. I don't know what he has in store for me. He's just gonna end up going for the screens again. Dual screens. So, I'm gonna hit him up with the Aerial Ace. Because this thing is obviously not a physical wall or anything, and another Aerial Ace will be the death of Espeon. <laughs> and at this point, I've lost zero pokes, so I'm feeling pretty good about this team. I'm going to go for an Aerial Ace, and I get a crit off, man. Yeah! And he's going to bring in the Darmanitan. Uh, am I scared of this? I don't think so. But the Stone Edge, unfortunately, misses there. And he's going to hit me up with a Stone Edge himself. That Boston. The Boston. So. I don't really know what I want to bring into this thing. Um, I think my Heliolisk is a fine bet here. Just go for a Hyper Voice. Um, it'll probably take two Hyper Voices, but... That's pretty much the game, guys. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Comment down below if you have any feedback whatsoever. And uh, subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest videos. Also, check me out on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash another Soviet. Peace out, guys. And love you.